Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. They sent me the artwork. They sent me a couple of different deals. And this is what they get when they trade. And at first I was thinking they didn't want the double lines. But then I reread his email, email and I'm pretty sure he just doesn't want double lines, which is has. So we could select it all and you see there are 49 objects. I'm going to lightly grab the outside. I'm going to, well, I'm going to set my nudge factor. I've already figured out I need like 18 centimeters. See, I grabbed one object. There I grabbed a bunch of objects. I only grabbed a curve on layer one. I'm going to nudge it over. It got rid of 48 objects, but it's the same drawing. So we could actually delete those. Now he said he's going to cut this out of wood and it would cut out. It might be a little thin in spots, but if you take the smart fill tool and fill in one spot, that didn't look very good. Let me zoom in here. Take the smart fill tool and, well, I guess I just never have looked at it close up. It is going to cut out and this is what's going to, that's what the wood is going to look like. Now, just for the person I'm doing it for, this is going to be a little weak right here and this too. So before I would do anything, first of all, I would take it all and don't really know because this is uh, a long way away from me, a uh, different country. I'm going to change it to hairline and I, I'm going to, I use RGB and I'm going to turn it red. And so it's going to be a red hairline to cut. <clears throat> the only problem I see, this would be really cool cut out. This is going to be really, really weak piece of wood. Well, you can correct that. Just go ahead and extend or take the, take your shape tool and just bring that node up and you could play around with it, make it a little bit different looking and then just take the, and you could play around with it a lot. Then take the virtual segment delete key and delete that and that. And then we'll see in just a second when it dark, when we uh, fill it back in. And then you could actually do the same to this just to make it look a little, now we're changing it up quite a bit. So you might want to back up here and may move that node individually. And then, you know, you wouldn't want this to be that far off. So you could, you know, maybe move this node in and get rid of that node and do the same thing with the virtual segment delete key here. And all I'm doing is strengthening it up because if you don't, the wood's going to break off being so little. Now let's take the smart fill tool and fill in. And that's what it's going to look like in wood. Now there's an interior break right there. Might not matter because it's on the interior, but I wouldn't take the chance. I would do it. And this is just suggestions. I'd go ahead and do that. I'd go ahead and do that. Um, that one's probably going to work, but let I me mean, just give you some ideas to get all these interior parts where they won't uh, snap off. Like that's pretty good, but it's so little. I would actually try to move that down a little bit, give you some little bit of room. And <clears throat> I don't think it takes away from the drawing. Now we're going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. That one I didn't move far enough. Let's get the zoom tool back. And just move it in, move it in or move that one out. Kind of back up, look at your drawing, take the virtual segment delete key, delete tool, I always call it a key. Uh, same thing there, same thing there, same thing there. I don't think it's taken away from the drawing and it's gonna make it quite a bit stronger. You know, this might work, but it'd be so easy just go ahead and connect it. And we're going to do one more thing after we do this. I think I've got them all. What I'm going to do is smart fill it. And by smart filling now, all my nodes are connected. And let's get the pick tool and move that out of the way. And then when I left click, right click, you can see that it doesn't really matter. Now I would like right in here, you could do two things, get the shape tool and delete that node and delete that node and see how much it looks good. 
You could also, if you have X7 or above, you could grab the smoothing tool. Have it set something bigger than that. Let's go one and go like right in there, click on your item. And just, I mean, look how much better that looks. You know, like right in there, just kind of just, kind of makes it just blend in. Now we do, I just saw another little problem. That's, that'll work. Uh, I would spread those out just a little bit. Maybe even take that note away, take that note away, and then move this down. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.